Hey guys, my name's Angelique. I'm usually inside writing blog posts for you guys, but uh, you've been asking about the 2019 Honda Accord, so I ventured out in the cold to give you some of my first impressions of it. I really love the exterior of this car. When you look at it, it's clearly inspired by that old muscular fastback style design. As you come around the front of the car, you'll see that it does have LED headlights. We have chrome trim on there. It does have the LED fog lights as well. Around the side of the car here, it has the body colored uh, mirrors. They're heated mirrors. It has the body colored handles. It's really just a sleek and sporty style with the accents along the window trim as well. Coming around the back here, you'll see the tail lights. They really stick out a little bit. I think they really give the car a more aggressive look. You have some accents on the bottom there, and you also have this spoiler style trunk. I think it just really makes the car look sporty. Just an overall sleeker, nicer design in my opinion. Over on here, you'll see that we have the uh, capitalist fuel fill. That's really convenient. No more leaving the cap on top of your car and driving out of the gas station. I love that uh, little convenience feature here. So coming to the inside of this car, it does have the remote keyless entry, so you don't even have to take that key out of your pocket. You just reach behind the handle, it senses your hand is there, and you can get right in. Coming inside here, right along the door, you'll see we have a bunch of soft touch material. That's really nice here. You have some um, wood type accents. Of course, you have all your controls. You have the auto um, window controls here, the one touch down for the front windows, your lock, your unlock. You do have your um, powered mirror, so all your controls are here. And then you can also pop your trunk with this button right here on the door. Again, when you come inside, that soft touch material continues throughout. You do have your trip settings. Um, you have your uh, control for the brightness of your lights inside. Here you have some of your settings, your traction control and your lane departure mitigation control. So you can just turn those on and off. It's really simple with your labeled buttons there. And then right here you have your trunk release. You do have all the controls on your steering wheel, all your audio controls, your cruise controls, things like that. So right here on the left side, you'll see home buttons for your entertainment screen. You can control your volume. You can go forward and backward through songs, radio stations, things like that. And then you also have your voice control for your calling. So when you connect your phone via Bluetooth, all those controls will be right here on your steering wheel. You have your standard knob here for your turn signals, your headlights. It does have the auto on and off headlights, so that's a really, really convenient feature I like to use. And on the right side of the steering wheel, you have more controls. You have your, um, your settings for your adaptive cruise control, so you can change the distance you follow the car in front of you. You have your lane keep assist control over here. Again, just some more menu controls. You can change your speed, cancel things like that, go back to main menus on your screen here in front. The screen in front of you is split into two different sides. You have your regular analog speedometer and then your fuel meters next to that. And then you have a digital side. And on the digital side, you can run through your different settings, see the fuel range you have left, see your digital speed, things like that. And then in the middle, of course, you can see your shifter settings, see your miles, and also see the weather temperature outside. And on the right side, you have your standard control for your windshield wipers, and you can just run through all those settings there. Of course, coming into this middle console here, the first thing you notice is this big screen. You have a nice 8-inch touch screen. You do have all the options within the touch screen, which you can change around, but then you also have your buttons on the side. So you can run through your home button, back, you can change brightness, things like that. You have a setting for clocks, connecting your phone, different audio sources, your regular audio volume button, and then your tuning and scrolling um, dials to go through different radio stations, things like that does have a really nice climate control setup in the middle here. It is the dual zone climate, so each side of the car has their own climate controls, which are easy to sync up or do individually. This model does have the heated seats. You just have a really easy button here. You can see there's three settings you can run through. And then you have buttons for all your different climate modes, your heat modes, and your air conditioning. There is ample storage in the middle console of this vehicle. You have a nice little cubby here. It's easy to open. You can see it's pretty deep for storing a phone back there or anything like that. And then in here is where you're going to find some of your plugs. You have the 12 volt plug. Um, you have one USB plug, so that's nice and convenient. Plug in a charger, stick your phone in there, and you can close it. And then you just have a nice sleek look to your middle console. Standard shifter here. Um, you have some nice big cup holders here, and then of course the storage inside is really nice. Um, there's some more plugs in here, another USB port, another 12 volt port. 
So that's a lot of extra storage for you right in this middle console. Also in the middle console, you have a couple buttons down bottom here. You have your button for your econ mode. That's essentially just going to get you a little bit better fuel, fuel efficiency when you're driving. And then you also have your parking brake button. Easy button, just toss that on for your parking brake and your brake hold keep you still on hills. What's really nice about this trim is it does have the moon roof. So you can tilt the moon roof and just open it up a little bit or you can just go ahead and push that all the way open and have a nice view for you to look out on a nice day. Of course, it's a little cold today. It's really easy to close. You just slide that button forward and it'll close the whole way automatically. You do have your settings for your headlamps up here. If you want them to turn on when you open the door, just have that off. And then your standard holder for sunglasses, business cards, whatever else you want to toss up there. Coming across the dashboard, you have really nice open space here. Of course, that soft touch and those wood-like trim accents continue here. You have one glove box that opens down. Pretty spacious, plenty of room to keep. Um, keep your manual in there. You could probably keep a tablet in there. Lots of room you have over in there. Again, coming over, you do have your speakers all along here. This model has the eight speaker system. So you have some on the doors. You have a big one on your, on your dash here. Um, that soft touch and the wood-like trim continues all the way around with some of these chrome style accents. Checking out the seats here, they're super comfortable seats. They're pretty much all black, so it gives you that nice, sleek interior look, but then you do have some of that accent stitching. I think it really stands out. Just makes the seats not only comfortable, but they're also just really cool to look at inside this car. Jumping in the back seats here, you can see they're fairly spacious. Again, I am 5'7", so I mean, I have, I have a decent amount of room back here. It's that same comfortable fabric that's in the front seats, follows you back, it's all black. Just a really nice interior back here. You do have some um, climate controls for anyone sitting back here. The doors have really nice cup holders. Everyone has a cup holder on each side. And then what's really nice about the Accord is they do put a dome light in the back. A lot of sedans fail to add that. Um, so that's a nice feature I like. I think it just helps gives you gives you some more vision back here. You also have the anchors in back so you can strap in children, car seats, booster seats, anything like that. So it makes the back seat really safe. The middle armrest comes down here so if you only have two people back here, you get some extra cup holders here, a nice space to just rest. Just adding to the comfort really of this of this vehicle. Driving this car does have the Honda sensing technology, so that adds a lot of extra safety features like the road departure mitigation. So if I ever started to drift through the lines, it'll help me stay centered, stay within those lines. It also has the emergency braking, so if I'm coming up on a vehicle and they slam on their brakes, the vehicle will sense that and then break for me if I failed to come to a stop. Blind spot monitoring as well. So on each of my side view mirrors, there's a little diagram that will light up when it, the vehicle senses a car in either of my blind spots. So that's really, really helpful if you're merging on a highway or changing lanes or pulling out. Little safety features like that are really nice to have with this Honda sensing technology. Driving this vehicle feels really nice. Again, the seats are super comfortable. I set it exactly how I like it before we left. So you don't really have any problems with your back hurting, with slouching over, anything like that. So sitting back here feels almost like you're driving a sporty, sporty vehicle. It handles really nicely. I can get up to speed in traffic very easily. It accelerates pretty quickly. Changing lanes is thing like is easy, things like that, especially with those safety features and lane keep assist. So it's constantly monitoring my blind spots. So that kind of gives me a little bit of peace of mind when you're zipping through traffic. It's a really smooth ride. It does have um, similar to like that sporty suspension. So you feel the road, but you don't necessarily feel every single bump in, in any ditch you may hit in the road. Kind of glides over everything. So we're gonna come up and try to pass the car in the right lane here so I can demonstrate the blind spot sensing. Whenever there is a car in your blind spot, you can see in that right mirror, it'll light up. There's a little diagram there that lights up. And then if I turn on the turn signal, it'll actually beep at me to let me know not to cut over because there's a vehicle in my blind spot. And of course, after you clear that vehicle, your diagram will go off and then you know it's safe to cut over into that lane. So to demonstrate that road departure mitigation, I'm just gonna slowly try to drift over one of these white lines and we'll see the vehicle correct that. So you can see there, the vehicle will pull me back into my lane 
and then gives you a flashing warning to let you know that you have to keep steering the vehicle obviously and keep yourself from crossing those lines but for demonstration purposes purposely drifted over those lanes and let you see that the steering wheel will pull you back now obviously I'm driving here so I'm not gonna completely let go of the steering wheel but I want to try to demonstrate for you so you can see that the steering wheel does physically shake to correct you with that road departure mitigation So you can see that I did not even touch the steering wheel, but the vehicle corrected itself to stay within these two white lines. Of course nowadays we all love technology, we always all have our phones on us, so one of the big important things for me is that a vehicle comes complete with the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. This Accord does have those features, so you can go ahead and connect your smartphone and everything you see on your phone you'll see on this nice big 8 inch screen here. Like I mentioned earlier, you do have the voice controls right on the steering wheel, so your phone's connected, you never have to take your eyes off the road, and your phone just kind of connects and becomes one with the vehicle. Another really awesome screen feature I like in this vehicle is that it does show you the speed limit sign right in front of you, right on your dashboard, so you don't have to look for the signs constantly or try to see some little number. It actually puts an image of the speed limit sign, it recognizes that and projects it right on the screen in front of you. Another cool feature I noticed after kind of playing around with the settings in here is they have the driver attention level. So what that does is it monitors things like the amount of time you've been driving, um, your, your style of driving, so if you're braking a lot or drifting a lot, things like that. And it takes all those factors and it kind of um, gives you like a, a nice little graph to see here just to keep you aware of the attention that you're paying to the road. This Accord is really fun to drive. It has that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. So even though it's a four cylinder nowadays, they're really pumping power into those four cylinders. So it has that get up and go. It has that acceleration. It does put out 185 horsepower. So there's a lot of power packed into this little sedan. It just makes it really fun to drive overall. Here you'll see the backup camera. This is really nice whenever you're backing up into any kind of spots or something. You see it has the predictive lines, so whenever you turn your wheel, it'll show you where your car will end up. And as we're backing up, you also see the warning showing me that vehicles are coming from that direction. So that warning not only shows you about any vehicles that may be approaching from either side when you're backing up, it will also recognize pedestrians or anything that may be walking behind you as you're backing up. So that's just a really nice safety feature, nice backup eyes to help you whenever you're backing up your vehicle into any situation. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our video on the 2019 Honda Accord EX. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out any more of our videos, you can find them on our YouTube or our Facebook. Visit us online or come on down to Smell Honda in Greensburg to check out models like this and others.